Let's get Samsung SmartThings and your Miros air purifier working together. This video does assume that you've already set the device up inside of the Miros app, and if you haven't, then watch for a link down below in the description or on screen right now. It'll get you set up in that base way, and then you can come back to this video by following the links there. Inside of Samsung SmartThings, just on the main page, you can hit the plus up in the top right and then head into device. Then go by brand and find the Miros brand in the list of companies. You're doing it this way because this is a Wi-Fi device and you're going to add multiple products at the same time. It doesn't actually matter what you choose on that screen for a type of device, but whatever room you place it into will bring all of your your Miros products into that room if this is the first time you're doing it. Once you've selected the room and the home, hit next and then put in the account credentials from the Miros application. Then hit authorize and it will bring in all of your devices into a single screen and you can review what you have in the list here. Then hit done and it will show up in that room and you can toggle it on or off using the card on the page. But you can also tap to go in and see some more information. This gives you the opportunity to change the fan speed and to turn it on and off on one page. Of course, within the SmartThings application, if you want a long hold press, you can move around that tile, or if you long hold press, it'll give you an option to actually remove the device or send it to a different room. But back in the details page, we actually have some other tabs at the bottom. The first is the history tab, and you can filter by certain dates or certain types of activities. And the second is the routines. Now, when you tap to create a routine, this is just going to give you a demonstration. On the if side of things, this is what will start your automation. So whenever we choose something here, we're using it as a trigger. So in this case, if I choose on, then when the device turns on, we will start the rest of the automation. We also have options like on or off, so whether it turns on or off, or all of the different fan speeds. And we do have some other options where you can use time delays. Now if we head into the then side of things, these are the actions that the device can take if the routine or the automation is triggered. Obviously you could be using lots of other devices in your smart home and it would make sense to use an air quality monitor. You should notice that when you turn on the device, you have three options, which are the fan speed, and the off choice is actually what's called the sleep mode on your Miros air purifier. Then there's the delay this action, so you can wait an extended period of time before you actually take this action. And there's an auto turn off. So for example, you could run this for 20 minutes and have it automatically turn off. There is another type of automation, and if we head into the automation page at the bottom, you can see the scenes and you might have existing scenes already that are worked into automation. So let's say for example, when I arrive at home, I can add a new action. I can choose to control devices and then find the Miros air purifier in the list. Of course, again, I'm getting options to turn it on, turn it off. And if I'm turning it on, I can select that fan speed. All of these options are really great, but you might want to set it up with a voice assistant as well. And if you want to do that, then check out the playlist up on screen right now, which will help you to do more with the Miros air purifier.